the Department of Astronomy at UW-Madison. We wanted access to the southern skies. We wanted to be able to have a facility in the south to explore the southern sky. And there's reasons for that. And we'll see some of those as the sky darkens. We'll see the Milky Way. And we'll see the southern part of the Milky Way, which is just spectacular in its richness of objects. Stars, star clusters, gas. The center of the galaxy is, is much more visible from the southern hemisphere than it is from the northern hemisphere. Uh, we'll see the Magellanic Clouds, those two satellites of our own Milky Way that'll be off here in the southern part of the sky. We can't see those in the north. And they're the nearest examples of other galaxies. And so we can look at those in a sense to get both the forest and the trees. They're close enough that we can resolve individual stars, but far enough away that we can see sort of how the whole ecosystem of a galaxy works. And that's part of our probe to understand the origins of, of galaxies. So when we got invited to join SALT, we sort of jumped at the opportunity, both for the science, but also because you know the instrument at the top of the telescope is one that we were able to design and build in Madison, ship down here, and some shipping crates and a boat, get it installed on the telescope. Uh, so this has been a one where scientifically, technically, we're deeply involved, but also in the social aspects of it, of being involved as South Africa embarked on this journey to really raise its reputation in astronomy. And, and that's been a very, very rewarding part of our partnership with, with South Africa.